Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. We thank God for his grace and his mercy and his love that he has shown toward us. I can truly say if it had not been for the Lord on our side, there's no telling where we would be. And we thank God for another opportunity to delve into the word of God, uh, which the Bible says, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Right. And Jesus said, you are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. So tonight we want to go before the Lord in prayer. And we thank God uh, for our guest uh, Bibles here on today. Amen. Elder David Riley, all the way from Columbus, Ohio. And we thank God for him uh, visiting with us on tonight uh, to break the word of God uh, with us. He'll be our chief theologian. Amen. We say God for his life. God has instilled in him. So, uh, do we have any uh, prayer requests? Do we have any prayer requests? That everyone will be safe in the storm that's coming across the United States. Yes, absolutely. Amen. Uh, pray for my family. We're supposed to be flying out of here. Uh -huh. Going to Texas. Texas. Yeah, Ooh, it's going to be hot. Well, I told my sister, I said, this storm got me worried. Yeah. yeah. So when are you flying? Uh, Friday. Friday what? Friday in the morning. <laughs> we'll pray for you. Yeah. I don't know. I'm, I might <laughs> bag out. In a major way. In a major so, ticket, so. Let the Lord lead you. You feel like you need to bag out? <laughs> Back out. <laughs> What's bag out mean? Back, back out. Back, back, back out. Yeah. Back. So we thank God. We thank God. Any other prayer requests? Just keep keep my grand granddaughter in prayer. She's going through a, a really emotional thing with her mother. They don't have a good relationship and stuff. So keep keep her lifted in prayer. That's that's heavy on her heart as well as his other. Yes, amen. All right. All right. Let us pray for the speaker. The Lord will grant you your love. Gracious Father, in the name of Jesus, we simply thank you and praise you for your greatness and your mercy, your love and your kindness. We thank you, Lord, for gathering us together one more time, giving us a mind to worship you in spirit and in truth. We ask you, Lord, that you bless, wash us, and cleanse us, and purge us from all unrighteousness, from every word, thought, deed, and every secret thought. Prepare our hearts, Lord, for the word on today. We ask you to bless the speaker, Lord, grant him door of utterance in the name of Jesus. And now, Lord, we ask you, Lord, that you bless each and every request that's been made known before you. We ask you, Lord, that you bless by your power and by your might. Keep safe from danger, seen and unseen. Bless those in each and every request that's been laid before you, Lord. Bless our family members, our loved ones, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray that you will grant traveling mercy and allow your spirit to rest, rule, and abide. Father, we give you glory, honor, and praise. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Amen. We want to receive our man of God for tonight. Amen. Thank you, Mr. Master. You're welcome. My pleasure. Yeah, very. Yeah. I remember the day he walked into the church. <laughs> Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. It's been the rest of history. Yeah. Yeah, 32 years. He's been that long. Yeah, been that long. Yes, Lord. Ah, uh, yes, Lord. God is good. He's good. Yeah. 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 I could just see you standing on that porch now. Mm-hmm. That's what you need. Yeah, you did. <laughs> <laughs> and you know something? One Bible class. What is it Bible class? Yep, Bible class. One Bible class that Bishop Radcliffe taught. Yeah. That was it. It was it. Bishop Radcliffe was a, was an awesome teacher, wasn't he? Yes. Gentleman. Yes. And, and you know, even he knew it. Yeah. That's true. Thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna give you a scripture. I'm gonna share this with you. Psalms 37, 30. Psalms 
Psalms 37 and 30, it says that the mouth of the righteous speak wisdom in his tongue of all judgment. And the law of his God is in his heart. And none of his steps is lie. Y'all hear that one? Did y'all hear that one? The mouth of the righteous speak wisdom. Speak wisdom in his tongue, talk judgment. And the law of his God is in his heart. And none of his steps shall stop. Thank you, Jesus. You know, the Bible says this. The Bible says, we didn't man. When it says man, it don't mean male or gender. It means man. If any man lack wisdom, let him ask God. They give it to all men liberally and upbraid his life. Yes, if, he said, if you lack wisdom, you know, saints of God, I'm going to tell you something. The Bible said, whatever you ask, whatever it is that you ask, in word or deed, say, God, give it to you. They give it to you. But most people got that twisted. Mm -hmm. They got it twisted. That don't mean a Lamborghini. <laughs> huh? Mm -hmm. He said, if any man, he said, whatever you ask, whatever it is, whatever it is, whatever it is you ask in the word of me, yeah. he said, he'll give it to you. He'll give it to you. As long as you don't ask a mess. That's right. But what God is talking about, God is talking about things that pertain to the king. Yes, Lord. <laughs> huh? Yeah. Brother, I dare you to ask God for love. He got to give it to you. Yeah. yeah. Huh? He said he'd give it to you. Mm -hmm. He asked God for peace. Uh -huh. Ask God for compassion. Yeah. <laughs> The kingdom of heaven is not meat and drink, yeah. but joy in the Holy Ghost. <laughs> he said, whatever you ask, ask him for love. I dare you to ask God for love and see what he do. He'll give it to you. <laughs> ask him for patience. <laughs> ask him for brotherly kindness. Yeah. Huh? That's what we need, brotherly kindness. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Well, I love it. <laughs> I, I dare you to ask God for compassion. Mm -hmm. The Bible says, have compassion on them that are out of the way. Hallelujah. Yeah. 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 I get caught up in the dark. Mm -hmm. This brother's supposed to be praying for me. Yes. Lord. He ain't supposed to be talking about me. He's supposed to be praying for me. Yeah. That's what Jesus yeah. Have compassion yeah. on them that are out of the way. When, when we see we don't have that, we got to ask God for it. That's right. That's what we got to do. Mm -hmm. Turn to Luke 16, 19. Come on. 16, 19. Mm -hmm. Got it, Brother Quinn? Yes, sir. Read it for me. There was a certain... Yeah, you got it. Okay, I got it. Got it, Yes, sir. Okay, come on. There was a certain rich man. There was a certain rich man. Which was clothed in purple and fine linen. Clothed in purple and fine linen. You know what that means? He dressed, he dressed according to what he had. Mm. He was wealthy. He was clothed in purple. And the Bible said it was not just linen. Fine. fine. Thank you, Jesus. This man was clothed in purple and fine linen. Mm -hmm. He wants he wants self poor folks can't wear. You know, some people are so poor they don't even have clothes. Mm -hmm. I was looking at something on television yesterday uh, about uh, uh, these children in Africa, and all the mothers had children that died in starvation. Mm -hmm. 
But he, the, the scripture said he was clothed in purple. Purple wealth represented wealth. Wealth. Read. And fared sumptuously every day. He fared sumptuously every day. Every day that came, every day in his life, he had everything that he wanted and more and, and more. The Bible says he fared sumptuously every day. There was, there was not one day that he didn't have what he, he had more than what he needed. Mm -hmm. Every day he fared like that. He lived like that. Mm -hmm. By the day he started, this man was a multi-million man. By the day he started, this man would be living in Silicon Valley. In Silicon Valley, there's 189 billion acres. Uh, Y'all hear what I say? 189. You, you can't live there unless you unless, unless you're a billionaire. 189 billionaires live there. Billionaires. I'm talking about millionaires, billionaires. People like Gates, Bill Gates, the Tesla man, uh, uh, the, 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 uh, the fellow that uh, run uh, Amazon, 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 and uh, the one that does the uh, Musk, Elon Musk, Elon Musk, and uh, that's Tesla. Tesla, yeah. Uh, what is the what is the one that does the internet? Mark Zuckerberg. 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 Mm -hmm. The Bible says their eyes is fat. Mm -hmm. They have, they, they have, you know something? They, I heard that the seven richest people in the world got so much money that they can stamp out poverty all over the world. All over the world. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Pardon me? I said it would be nice if they would do that. Be nice. <laughs> that would be great. <laughs> A blessing. <laughs> the fair sumptuously every day. Every day. Everything that he wanted. Every, can you imagine everything that you can think you want to die? Whatever kind of car it is you think about. Whatever kind of house you think you want. Whatever it is that you want in this life, you got at your disposal. Mm -hmm. They got, some of these fellas is so rich, they got so much that they great, great, great grandchildren will never go broke. Mm -hmm. But this man fared sumptuously every day. Every day. If it was caviar that he wanted, he Whatever it is that he wanted to eat. I was just thinking about Floyd Mayweather. He's walking around with an $18.5 million watch. A watch. You know something? <laughs> <laughs> right. And do the same thing this one do. Right. <laughs> Tell time. <laughs> and you don't have to be looking over your shoulder worrying about something. That's it. Right. You can get one of the watches at Walmart. You can get one of the watches at Walmart for $19. You can save a million dollar watch. Right. right. You know something? Folks get, folks get so much money, it drives them crazy. I believe in that. <laughs> this man in the Bible, his name was Diabetes. I don't know where they... How they found out his name was Diabetes, but this man fared sumptuously, sumptuously every day. Yeah. That means that means there's nothing in this life that he wanted that he didn't have. Mm -hmm. Read. Really. And there was a certain beggar named Lazarus. There was a certain beggar. You know what? A, uh, when a when a person is that's a beggar, he he begs for existence. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I thought we was poor coming up. My brother gave the dog some of that spam. That dog smelled that spam and turned around and walked away. The dog wouldn't eat that stuff. <laughs> Y'all but it's the truth. 
I saw it. The dog wouldn't eat that stuff. That's because it's too much the salt in it. The dog walked over there and smelt that spam and turned around and walked away. <laughs> I saw it. With the crumbs which fell from the rich man's he, table. You know something? I'm going to tell you something. <laughs> if you ain't got a car and you desire a car, you're going to still be walking. Yeah. A desire can't help you. No. <laughs> a desire. He desired the crumbs. And he was still hungry. And he was still sick. And he was still poor. I desired a car, but I still had to walk from 32nd Street all the way over here. I didn't walk to that car. But he, he, he desired, he didn't want, he didn't want the man's caviar. He didn't want his T-bone steaks. He just wanted some crumbs. Crumb. The only thing I know to make crumbs is bread. Oh. <laughs> all he wanted was some crumbs that fell from the table he got done eating. You're talking about a man that was in a bad shape. This man was in bad shape. Mm -hmm. Desiring the crumbs that fell from the rich man's table. Read. Moreover, the dogs came and licked his sword. Let's stop. Let's stop at, the, stop at that word, moreover. What that word, moreover, is saying, Peter used that word. What that word, moreover, is saying, beside this, Beside him being sick, beside him being poor, moreover, the dogs, let me tell you something, saints. If I got pus running out of my body and I got sores left all over my body, don't let that pit bull come and lick my sore. <laughs> 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 But the pit bull, the shepherd, the doorman, whatever it was, had more compassion on this man than diabetes. He had the, the dogs. The, the man was in a bad shape. You in a bad shape, brother, with a dog. You in a horrible condition. But you know something? The Bible says, the Bible says this. The Bible says, go to the beast of the field and you can learn about me. Mm. Yep. That's right. God said that. It's in the book. He said, go to the beast of the field and learn about me. The dog, the beast, the animal had more compassion yes. than diabetes. We better watch ourselves. They ain't but one flesh. They ain't but one flesh. You know something? That dog knew that that man needed comfort. Yes. The dog. That dog knew that that man needed help. It didn't say a dog. Excuse me, y'all. Dogs. If you read it, it said dogs, don't it? There's an S on there. Uh, mm -hmm. Yep. Am I right? Yes. Dogs, the dogs came and licked his sores. 
That man was yeah. in trouble. Yeah. And you know something? That dog, them dogs, them dogs had more compassion mm -hmm. on this sick man than the rich man. Mm -hmm. Than diabetes. He said, moreover, the dogs came. Help me to have my back. Mm -hmm. Diabetes was made out of the same flesh that you made out of. Mm -hmm. Love you. Mm -hmm. Diabetes was made out of the same flesh you made out of. Diabetes was cruel. If he didn't want to give the man nothing, he could have had his servants give him some soap. Help him get back on his feet. We didn't give the man nothing. We better watch ourselves. We better watch ourselves. God help us. Daddy wasn't a beaver. He was a man. He was a human being. We better watch ourselves. No compassion at all. Moreover, the dogs came. A dog had no compassion in the man. Is that a problem? Yeah, that's a problem. When a dog, when a dog got more compassion than you. Some men in Africa took this young girl, let's go molest her and rape her and just abuse her. The little girl screaming and crying. The lions saw her. The lions chased the men away and sat down there with the girl until somebody came and rescued her. You know what the Bible said? The Bible said man has no preeminence over a beast. You better watch yourself if you don't have that animal and that animal instinct. You better watch yourself. You better watch yourself if you don't have compassion. Them lions sat with that girl and wouldn't harm her. Until somebody came and rescued them. Chased those men away from them. Mm. Now that was a blessing. Yeah. Lazarus just was desiring crumbs. <coughs> he didn't want the T-bone steak. <coughs> he didn't want the olive garden salad. He just wanted some crumbs. And it came to pass. It came to pass that the beggar died. The beggar died. Showtime. We beggar died. And was carried by the angels into Abraham's All bosom. All that suffering. All that suffering that Lazarus did. Showtime now. That angel was right there when Lazarus was dying and all his sores was on his body. That angel was right there. But when Lazarus breathed his last breath, the Bible said he was carried by the angels. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He didn't have to worry about that out of God's. He didn't have to worry about that rich man's state no more. Mm -hmm. nope. Carried by the angels. Abraham's bosom represents paradise. Mm -hmm. yeah. Don't miss paradise. Don't miss, it. Don't miss it because of the lack of compassion. Mm -hmm. um. We got that. 
The rich man also died. The rich man died. And was buried. And was buried. Hey, he had a funeral. Horses. White horses. A big castle. A big entourage. Music. The band. He had it all. But what happened? And in hell, he lifted up his eyes. Soon as he shed his eyes. Soon as he shed his eyes. His eyes shed on this side, and they open up on the other side. Mm -hmm. When he opened his eyes, he was in hell. In hell. It's like that, that, that reminds you of you can't run by Lee William. You can't run, you can't hide. Because <laughs> the devil is just like a policeman. He knows where you live and he knows where you at. <laughs> he'll take a baby from the mother's breast and then he'll take a mother and the daughter and he'll take the father and the son and he ain't going to stop until he get the last one. <laughs> Devil is like electricity. <laughs> electricity don't refuse to shock you because you touched it by accident. Right. <laughs> <laughs> the devil is like bleach. Bleach don't mess, don't, don't refuse, refuse not to mess your clothes up because you did it by accident. Right. <laughs> you get on the devil's turf, he will get you. Right. The Bible said, in hell, he lifted up his eyes. Help me to do the thing that is right. Somebody get Psalms 1913. Psalms 1913. Yes. Keep yes. back thy servant. Keep also back thy servant from presumptuous sin. You know what a presumptuous sin is? Presume something's right. He got it right, brother. Presume. Pardon me? You don't have the authority or the permission to do it, but you presume that's right. right. And you, and you do it anyway. Presumptions, something that you know it from. Keep back thy servant from presumptuous sin. Read. Let not, let them not have dominion over me. In other words, don't let me keep them. Read. Then shall I be upright. Then shall I be upright. Keep me, Lord, keep me from it. Yeah. A lot of people don't, a lot of people don't commit adultery. A lot of people don't commit fornication. You could pay them to commit fornication. <coughs> you got a bad attitude. Mm -hmm. Lack of compassion. Diabetes wasn't guilty of adultery. Mm -hmm. The lack of compassion. That's what his problem is. Mm -hmm. Read. And I shall be innocent from the great transgression. Great transgression. Let me tell you something. I don't know what that great transgression is. That's between you and God. <coughs> God been telling you all the time. Have compassion. Have love. Be as wise as the serpent and harmless as the dove. God keep you. You know something? God is not going to keep talking. He, God ain't going to beg us not to do the thing that is right. He ain't going to beg us to do right. Because he's God. He got somebody to do right because he said. Brother Ernest, get, get Matthew 5, 19. I'm going to be 
on the right side. I don't know about you, but I want to be on the right side of the fence. Be on the right side. All right. <clears throat> Read, brother. Who, whosoever, therefore, whosoever therefore shall break one, shall break one of the least read a commandment and shall teach men also shall be called the least in the kingdom of God. In the kingdom of heaven. Okay, but read, read. But whosoever shall do and teach them, whosoever shall do and teach them, them shall be called great, great in, in the kingdom, kingdom of heaven. heaven. You don't have to be a bishop to teach this thing. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. You don't have to be a doctor of divinity to teach this. Mm -hmm. But whosoever shall do and teach them shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. Yeah. Don't nobody know you lie here. Mm -hmm. But you tell it folk to love your enemies. Bless them that curse you. Do good to them that hate you. Pray for them that despitefully use you. You tell them that. You teach them that. You teach in love. You teach in mercy. Mm -hmm. Let's go back to the lesson. I lost that. What was it? Luke, Luke 6. Luke 6. Luke 6. Luke 6. We started it in the 19th verse. Mm -hmm. All right. Luke 6, 19? 16. No. Oh, okay. What was it? 16. 16. You probably got it about the... 23rd verse. 23rd verse, right. Okay. Got gotcha. you. Thank you. And in hell. And in hell, he lifted up his eyes, being in torment, and seeth Abraham afar off, and Lazarus in his bosom. Okay. All right. He, he, he sees Lazarus now. What did that mean say? Read. And he cried and said, Father Abraham. Father Abraham. Have mercy on me, and send Lazarus, that he may dip the tip of his finger in water, and cool my tongue, for I am tormented in this flame. Now he woke Lazarus to do something for him that he wouldn't do for him when he was in trouble. Wow. Uh, yeah. wow. Get Matthew 5 and 7, my brother. Wow. <laughs> Lord, I thank you for the word of God. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Blessed are the merciful. Blessed are the merciful. For they shall obtain for mercy. They shall obtain mercy. Yeah. Bottom line, zero tolerance. <laughs> and that's the status quo. Blessed are the merciful. For they shall obtain mm -hmm. mercy. Davies didn't have mercy. Mm -mm. Now he won't mercy. <laughs> Read. But Abraham said, Son, remember that thou in thy lifetime receiveth thy good thing. Remember you was in that fine purple? Remember you fared sumptuously every day? Remember. You know, the people that die and go to hell, they're going to remember the past life. They're going to remember what they did. Yep. They're going to remember all those people they were mean to. Yep. That's part of the torment that you could have been better than you should have been. You know something? There was a, good, a, 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 a man, a young man that was a bully. And he died. Mm. And everybody, in all those kids that he bullied came before his face. Why? They would come and he, they would leave. You know, another one. Bible says in the last day the books was open. But Queen, you got a book. Mm. God got the record. Yeah. God got the record. You know how many sermons you done preached? Mm. You know how many people you done counseled? Mm -hmm. You know how much you've been given in the office? God got the record. Yeah. God, you know something? God got the record of this offering too. Let me tell you something. 
If I put $200 in the offering, and my friend put $200 in the offering, as far as God is concerned, that ain't the same. No. It's the same according to us. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, he could have put a thousand in the offering. God got the record. Mm -hmm. God got the record. God had Davide's record. Mm -hmm. Davide's, he wouldn't give the man a crumb mm -hmm. and walked around day in and day out, night in and night out, and let the man starve to death. No, couldn't, wouldn't send his doctors or nothing. No nurses or nothing. Just let the man die. The dogs had to comfort him. But now, Davies is in trouble. He said, Father Abraham, send Lazarus, mm -hmm. that he may dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue. You know all those people that hit the throne into the iron front and in those uh, incineraries. All those people hit the throne in there. To, they would go. They would get off the train and go straight to the infirmary to be killed. Off the train, straight to their death. Somebody said they died. God took them to hell and they saw Hitler in the hell. Said Hitler was in an iron furnace burning and he was screaming. I believe it. That man was burning children. He killed two and a half million children. That's right. <laughs> two and a half million children. He had them killed. And he killed six million Jews. That man was responsible for 400, but for uh, 40 million people died. <clears throat> God got the record. Mm -hmm. I like the way the Lord did things. Mm -hmm. That man, that man was on the cross. He was dying. He said, "Remember me when you come into your kingdom." Mm -hmm. Jesus said, "Today, <laughs> Hallelujah! Thank you, Jesus." He said, "Today, today, you gonna be with me in paradise." But Davies, he, he, he didn't go to hell because he was rich. Job was rich. By the day's standards, Job was a millionaire. <coughs> Job was rich. Abraham was rich. Davies did not go to hell because he was rich. Davies went to hell because he didn't have it. He went to hell because he didn't have compassion. He didn't have brotherly love and brotherly kindness. That's why he went to hell. Lord, help us to have love and compassion. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I know this in my Read. And likewise, Lazarus, evil things. Lazarus received evil things. Mm -hmm. Them swords full of his body, that wasn't, that wasn't no fun. That wasn't a fun thing for him to go through. Nope. The Bible says his body was full of swords. Mm -hmm. oh, but now is he comforted. Now <laughs> he's in paradise. And thou art tormented. Thou art tormented. The tables is turned, Davies. You know God done turned the tables. Ain't nothing down here on this earth worth it for us. To miss what God got in store. Okay, Amen. Nothing. Mm -mm. No. Mm -mm. You're gonna bow to me. Get rid of that attitude. <laughs> you know what that man said? Two men went up to pray. He said, "Lord, I thank thee." And I'm not like this, sir. This adulterer, this lying, this thief. I thank you, Lord, I'm not like him. And the sinner came up before God and said, hit his chest and said, Lord, forgive me. 
I'm a sinner. Yeah. Bible says he went down to his house on justified. Mm -hmm. Lord help, Lord help us to be saved. Yes. Mm -hmm. You can have this whole church full of people. Look at all these empty seats in here. You can have this whole church full of people and have so many demons and devils in here you can't count. Mm -hmm. I really have 15 people in here that saved me. a church full of demons. If you could just make it in, if this little bunch here just make it in, we'd be doing good. Lord, help me to make it. I believe I can make it. Read. And beside all this, between us, between me and you, look, Lazarus on one side and Diabetes is on the other side. And there's what between them? There's a gulf fixed. And a fixed gulf. A great gulf. A, a great gulf that's fixed. Y'all mm -hmm. ever heard of the Grand Canyon? Yeah. Huh? Y'all yeah. ever heard of Evil Knievel? <coughs> Evil Knievel had a motorcycle. He jumped the Grand Canyon with that motorcycle. He ain't gonna jump that gulf with that motorcycle. <laughs> he can't jump across there with that. <coughs> fixed. That gulf, that gulf is fixed. Yeah. Right. You know what the thing about it is? When God do something, you're not going to get across. Pardon me? You're not going to get across. You're not going to get across. It's non transcendable. There you go. <laughs> Amen. Read. So that they which would pass from hence to you cannot. The ones on, on, on the side where Diabetes is, they can't come on this side. And the ones on Lazarus' side can't go over there to them. Me Matter of fact, he don't want to go over there. No, I don't think so. He <laughs> <laughs> said, don't think so. <laughs> I'm, on, I'm on your side. <laughs> Lord, help us. Read. Then he said, I pray thee, therefore, Father, that thou wouldest send him to my father's house. He said, I got five brothers. You know something? The people in hell, look what he said. He remembered his brothers. Yeah. I have five brothers. Five. That he may testify unto testify. them. Testify. Send Lazarus back to testify to my five brothers. Mm -hmm. Tell Jack, John, Joe, <laughs> Peter, and Tom. <laughs> I'm giving them fictitious names. <laughs> Talk to them. Send Lazarus to talk. He won't, he won't, he won't able Father Abraham to do him a favor when he wouldn't do Lazarus a favor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Read. Least they also come into this place of torment. Because they just like him. <laughs> yeah. That means you got six not on it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait. Yeah. Fire do you like that? Huh? Fire do you like that? What did you say? Fire what do you like that? <laughs> yeah, man. He, 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 he sees something now. Right. Yeah. Read. Abraham saith unto him, They have Moses in the Bible. They prophet. got the Bible. They got the word of God. God said he won't do nothing unless he revealed it to his prophets. <laughs> he got the word of God. That's what he said. Let them hear them. Let them hear them. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a sad thing when the king of life you nothing. Mm -hmm. Now God set this man over this church. Me and Ernie were saved a whole lot long time before him. True. But you know something? If I come back to Erie and I come to this church, I got to listen to him. That's it. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's it. Amen. And if he tell me, 
as a member, Brother Riley, you can't do that. Mm -hmm. I got to listen to what he said, and I got to obey. Amen. Yes. Because God put him as the angel of this church. Yes. Amen. He got a responsibility, and so do you. Mm -hmm. And I've been knowing for 30, um, I don't know, about 30 years, ain't it? Oh, you've been knowing me by like 35 years. 35 years. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't a bad fellow when he wasn't saved. <laughs> I didn't have a problem with him. Mm -hmm. He wasn't saved when he was living at that house for a while, right? Yeah. <laughs> me and him never had a conflict. <laughs> Now we'll get in the church and me and him gonna start fighting like cats and dogs. Mm -hmm. It don't make no sense. Mm -hmm. uh -uh. <coughs> Read. And he said, Nay, Father Abraham, but if one went unto them from the dead, they will repent. And look what Abraham tells him. And he said unto him, If they hear not Moses and the prophets, Neither if we don't hear Moses and the prophets, neither will they be persuaded. Neither will they be persuaded. Though one rose from the dead. I'm saying something. Yes, huh? Jesus rose. Who's Bishop Ratcliffe coming back here and start telling you not to do something? Mm. Let me tell you something. Your flesh will be so carnal if you want to do it, you'll do it anyway. That's it. Yeah. That's it. Mm. Amen. Yeah. That's it. You'll do it. That's how flesh is. Yeah. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. Come on, yeah. Yeah. Yes. God got to help you with this flesh. Yes. Yes. Amen. God got to help you to love. All right. Yeah. God got to help you to have compassion. All right. Yes. All right. Thank you, Jesus. Help us, Lord. You know something? I'm going to tell you something. You can't fake love. No. <laughs> no, you can't. <laughs> you ain't got it right to come out. <laughs> you ain't got it right to have to make it flow. <laughs> you can't hide flesh. Yes. <laughs> you try to hide that flesh and see what happens. It's impossible. <laughs> but the bell cops start acting up and cutting up when you when you least expect it. Right. That's what you huh? When you least want it to, it's not your fault. Right. <laughs> you can't hide flesh. You cannot. Let me tell you something. The best, turn to Proverbs 28 13. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you what to do with flesh. He that covereth his sin, he that covereth his sin shall not prosper. Shall not prosper. But he who he who what confesses confesses and forsaketh and forsakes confess and forsake he of what and them shall have mercy. Shall have mercy. Yes. All right. Yeah. God, you know something? He got my shot. This brother, he ain't never been to church. He know better. He know better. For, he know better than steal, take my wallet. He know. He know it don't belong to him. That's right. But the attitude. Right. <coughs> attitude. God is concerned about your attitude. Yeah. Is your attitude right? Jesus, Lord, help us. Mm -hmm. All of you got to be right. Mm -hmm. You don't have to not do something. There's a whole lot of saints today, they not doing things. They ain't lying and stealing and committing adultery and drinking. They ain't doing none of that. But they got the devil in them. Heart in them. Lord, help me to get my heart right. Yes. Mm -hmm. I told you that man said, Lord, I'm not like this man, like this adulterer, this liar, this thief. That man smote his chest and said, Lord, forgive me, I'm a son. Mm. The Bible said he went down to his house more justified. Yeah. Lord, help us, help us. Help us to get it right. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 I hope we don't have, have a lot of diabetesism in this house. Don't let the dogs have no compassion in you. You know, we, we, 
in the Bible, the Bible considered the Gentiles dogs. You know that, don't you? Right. That's right. The Syrophoenician woman came to Jesus asking for help. And Jesus says, not me to give the children of bread to the dogs. Mm -hmm. And that woman said, the dogs desire the crumbs that fall from the rich man's table. You know, God, God said things, and he said things for a reason. Mm -hmm. Lord, help us to get it right. Yeah. When I say right, I mean, I ain't talking, we, ain't, we ain't worried about adultery and fornication and stealing and lying and drinking and taking dope. The average person in this church ain't going to do that. Word says that because judgment is not executed speedily, the hearts of men mm -hmm. is set to do evil. It's because there's so much going on and we don't see the hand of God punishing these people immediately. And it seems as if they getting away and prospering. God, and you know, see, that, that's it. That's, go ahead. God don't want you to see people being punished. Because see, we, the average person don't the average person don't need us. All we need to know is they did wrong, God, they repented, and, and, and that's it. That's what, they, that's what we need. Mm -hmm. And we got to have compassion. That's what we need to do. Compassion and love. Amen. If, if Brother Quinn do something wrong, I, I don't need to see God hit him. <laughs> Really, I need to see that. What I need to see is, 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 is he get it back on the right track. That's what I need. Amen. I think what I was meaning, like you know, like Anai and Sapphire, the fear when when you see uh, that when you do wicked, God will uh, consume you. I think it puts fear in people that they won't do it. You know, sometimes God do things the way he, according to his will. No, he sometimes he'll straighten no, it out. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes God will straighten things out the way he will. It'll make you see the hard before it get easy. Yeah, right. It'll make it hard for you. And that way you don't know which where, way to go. Right. Well, the, but I'm going to say the long suffering of God is salvation. Right. God suffers with all of us God, for a long time. God, the, the long suffering of God. Y'all hear that? The long suffering of God is salvation. I learned, you know what I learned that from? Mm. I learned that from your teacher. Mm. Brother Cotton. Brother Cotton. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I said, I told her brother Ernie, I said, Brother Quinn wasn't under Bishop for a long time. And he said, yeah, but he was under Cotton. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. The long suffering of God is God suffer a long time with us till we can get it right. right. Mm -hmm. The long suffering of God is salvation. Mm -hmm. Till you can become a child of God, a son of God without rebuke. Mm -hmm. Take time to get there. Right. Mm -hmm. But ahead. flesh, we want things to happen to people that we feel has done wrong. <laughs> Get them, Lord. But you can't take wrong and make it right. <laughs> you better stop that foolishness. Yeah, but that's how we feel about things. I know. Get them, Lord. <laughs> Don E felt that way too until he went to deal with it. He when he opened up his eyes in hell, he changed his mind. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Too late to get too back to something like that. Too late. It was too late. Yeah. That's why they said the Lord created a clean heart. And renew the right spirit. That's what I need to do now. And cast you not away from thy presence. And point the finger at everybody. Take not thy holy spirit. I'm right. That's it. With, you know something? David, I'm glad you brought that up. Nathan came to David. He said two men was in one city, one rich and the other one poor. The rich man had exceedingly many goods. He said the poor man had nothing but one little ewe lamb. You know what a ewe lamb is? 
A you lab is a female shoe. A you lab. Have you ever seen one? They humble, ain't they? I mean, they depend on the master, the shepherd for everything. Yeah. I seen one. We had one at the church the other day in Columbus. If you, if you know something? The Bible said, go to the beast of the field and learn of me. I learned something from that little lamb. That lamb was so humble. It, it depended. The woman was holding and it depended on that, on that, on that woman that, that, uh, that owned it. She had, she had 200 of them. Wow. That's a lot. Too many. <laughs> Too many for you because you don't do that. <laughs> but she was a shepherd. Oh, well, that's a different she story. She said that fox came out, three, that fox came out there, and she ran in there and got her shotgun. <laughs> Blow it <away. laughs> <laughs> 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 My nerves ain't settled enough to all that. Yeah. <laughs> See, that's what Jesus said. He a good shepherd. Mm -hmm. He said, I hire him and cares not for the sheep. <laughs> but that, that little you lamb, that's all that man had. And the Bible said that, that you lamb drink from that man's cup just like it was his dog. And David said, the man that had done this thing ought to surely die. Mm -hmm. David pronounced judgment upon himself. Mm -hmm. He said, the man that had done this thing should surely die. And Nathan the prophet turned to him and said, Powerful. You don't. David said, Have mercy on me, O God, according to thy loving kindness, according to the multitude of thy tender mercy. Blot out my transgression, wash me thoroughly from my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. David talked some bottom line talk. He said, Against thee and thee only have I sinned and done this evil in thy sight. That thou mightest be justified when thou speak, and be clear when thou judges. He said, "Created me a clean heart." <coughs> when he said, "When he said created, created me a clean heart," he wasn't talking about his blood pumping. He was talking about his Sarah Brum, Sarah Bellum, and Medulla Oblongata. <laughs> I like that. That's good. I got that from Bishop Ratchley. Created me a clean heart. In other words, I'm in a mess. David saw himself. He, in a, he was in a mess. He said, renew the right spirit within me. Lord, help us to be saved. Yes. Help us to be saved. Mm -hmm. He said, Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Mm -hmm. Blessed are they that do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be fed. Don't you want this? I want huh? Yeah. Don't you want this? Yeah. Then we we should talk that Matthew 5, 6, and 7, didn't it? Then at the end of the fifth chapter, he said, Be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father which is in heaven is perfect. Mm -hmm. That's what God told us to do. We, you know something? The scripture said, Be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father which is in heaven is perfect. You know what we got to do? We got to mind our own business and get saved. Mm -hmm. right. Right. <laughs> if you do that, you ain't got time to take care of me. If you do that, you ain't got time to take care of me. If you do that, you ain't got time to take care of me. He told us, he said, be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father which is in heaven is perfect. It's going to take your, it's going to take, it's going to take your lifetime. And some. 
<laughs> be, be, ye, be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father which is in heaven is perfect. Right. The Bible says a man that can bridle his tongue is the same as a perfect man. Bishop explained that one day. He said, by the time you get done fasting and praying to get your tongue under control, you will be perfect. Be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father which is in heaven is perfect. Yeah. How you gonna do that, brother? What's your game plan? Yeah. You got a game plan? Pray. Man. Yeah. Seek, seek God. Seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and his righteousness. You got a job on your hands, son. You got a job on your hands, sister. You got a job on your hands, brother. I got a job on my hands. You know what? I ain't finished. I'm gonna stop. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. into what God is doing for him. Amen. We